Multidimensional analyses of poverty in different disciplines have been around for a long time and methodologies to measure them and study them quantitatively have already also been around. What this course does is first of all try to consolidate newer literatures on particularly axiomatic and counting based measures and teach these techniques to a high standard but also expose students in a quite a organized and systematic way to other methodologies like dominance, um, fuzzy set approaches, axiomatic approaches, um, statistical approaches. And our motivation is really to gather together students both from academia and from um, the more applied sectors and share what are new methodologies still within this field so that they are exposed to the resources, they know where to go further to read for new methodologies or for details, but they also have some confidence in the practical application using Stata, using data sets. The curriculum therefore goes from um, theoretical and axiomatic properties, um, a review of unidimensional poverty measures and methods, some conceptual work with capability and with normative issues, but then students break into working groups, they're given data sets, and by the end of the course they present their analysis of a new poverty measure they have made for that country, they have analyzed, they have decomposed, um, they have studied it in, in the composition of poverty and differences between rural urban areas and they have done robustness tests and applied standard errors. The goal is let them to know, have a very basic knowledge of when we see a country and when we think about the capability approach, how do we combine the idea of the capability approach and the, the, our real data set we have, how do we combine them together to real evaluation about the poverty, about the MPI? We actually use real world data from, from countries that like mixed data sets, so they really create their own MPI in working groups, so there's a heavy focus on actually applying what they learn straight after the theory. One thing which is very interesting is that how within such a short period of time, two weeks, people are able to learn the techniques, the concept, and able to go from scratch and develop a measure that has some sense and present it during the last day. There's an international group of students, very diverse cultural backgrounds, but also very diverse uh, academic backgrounds and very diverse professional backgrounds, which meant that in, we didn't only teach what we know from OFI, but also we learned a lot from the students and we got very good insights. And when they leave the course, they join an alumni network. And that network is connected in some cases by Facebook, by social media, by email lists. Um, sometimes particular people um, remain in contact at an individual level. And we very much encourage this because we're trying to develop, in a sense, um, a community of, of users, a community of experts. And we also recognize that when people go out, they will be innovating because this is a new and very dynamic field and phase. And so they will be innovating and discovering new things to build this field. And we do that in the framework of the capability approach and of the understanding that our measures of poverty have to reflect the experiences that poor people have of poverty. And also that our motivation for measuring is not simply to publish in the best journals, but to be relevant and useful to actually address the poverty that we are talking about.